Hello students, Nate Sharp, your instructor for this online Business 290 course. Here we are in week one, today's Wednesday. You have your first discussion due today. I've got a few questions about navigating the course, so I'm gonna shoot this short Zoom tutorial, and we're actually gonna walk through the course to help you understand how to digest all the wonderful content that I've laid out for you. So I'm gonna share my screen and jump into the course. And this should be a relatively quick tour. Many of you are already in doing your work and you're navigating fine, but a few of you have questions and that's A-OK. -okay. So here I am in the course, and the course layout is the same whether you're in section 1118 or 1117. Here's your modules view, that's the default view. When you think modules, think outline, and it's laid out by week. And in each week, you'll see there's a resource page and assignments. Resource page and assignments. Here's week one, resource page part A, week one resource page part B, and then two assignments. I'm gonna scroll down to week two. Here you see week two, resource page part A, resource page part B, assignments, two things due on Wednesday, a discussion and a quiz, and two things due on Sunday, a discussion and a quiz. But let me drop into week two resource page part A. Now there's A and B's because normally this is a 16 week course, we're compressing it into eight weeks. So you basically have two weeks of course each week, a part A and a part B. Your resource page is your starting gate. This is what you wanna digest all this material before you do the assignments. It might be a slightly different layout than you have in other classes. Some folks use buttons. I like to keep it in modules format. That way it works whether you're on the Canvas app, which by the way is a free mobile app you can download to access the course from your phone or whatever format you're working in. But bottom line is this, when you go into the resource page, it's in outline order and there's four items in there with each resource page. You have terms that you can read, which I'm highlighting right now. You have terms that you can view, view or listen to, like if you're on your phone and listening to a lecture while you're on the go. You have lecture slides that you can print for those of you who are tactile and like to take notes. And then item four is a link to the full study guide. So you might get confused, you're like, wait a minute, there's terms up here then there's a study guide with a bunch of terms linked down here. Are they different? The answer is no, they're not different. The only difference is the link at the bottom of your resource page, item four, gives you the full study guide. That's everything, as you see me scrolling through here, for each weekly module. The weekly modules, for example, here's week one. We're talking about a framework for business communication. Here's the terms, here's the links. The ones that are highlighted on the left column here, those are gonna show up on a quiz or be related to one of your discussion or writing assignments. So definitely go after the highlighted items. Well, what's this other stuff that's not highlighted? That's extra information that's still good to know, but you don't necessarily, or aren't necessarily quizzed or uh, assessed on, okay? So it's a digital textbook, meaning no physical textbook. Everything is done through links. Here's the week two. Here's your key terms on down the line. So the full study guide is for the whole course. You definitely want to bookmark that link to this Google Doc. And you'll be referring to the study guide every time you take a quiz or even sometimes when you're doing discussion assignments. You want to have the full study guide available to you. Okay, that's nice, Nate. So then what are these? links that are in item one up above. So here we see key terms, read options. It's the same items. They're just listed here in the weekly module. So the modules are for the specific week that you're working on. And the key terms are listed right there. The study guide down at the bottom right here is everything. So they're not mutually exclusive. Probably your easiest path is just always open up the full study guide and you'll see the terms there. Well, some students just want to read just what they need for that week. So you can read your items. If you'd rather listen, you can do that. View option, view, which means also listen to audio. And you'll see I put the uh, 
markers where my lecture, recorded lecture video, where I cover different topics, okay? So I know it looks like a lot at first, like, whoa, there's so much stuff in the resource page, there's so many links, I'm confused. So you will have multiple tabs open, but just look at the resource page is like your hub, your one-stop shop to look at all the resources that you need to digest before you do the assignments. So the, the weekly modules are set up with resources and then assignments beneath that. So again, here's week two, resource page A, resource page B. The flow of your, the organization of your resource pages is always the same. It's always key terms for that week. You can click on these links and they'll take you right into the book. Like if I do this, you see it opens up that Wikipedia reference. Yes, it's a Wikipedia reference. Then you have lectures. If you want to actually listen to my lecture, you have that option as well. You have print versions of the slides. If you want to print them off, you can do that. And then you have the actual study guide that opens up to the full study guide for that week. So it's not as daunting as it looks. It's always the same for items each week. There's your key terms tied to digital textbook or outside sources. There's my recorded lectures, item two. There's print lectures. For the few of you, occasionally I get requests that folks want to print the slides and take notes. So that's for those students. And then you have the study guide with everything for the whole semester. So bottom line, as you get familiar with the course, you're going to jump in. Uh, you're going to skim your resource pages, read real quick, and then you're going to open up your assignments, whether it's a quiz or a discussion or a writing assignment. And you'll probably have those tabs open while you're tackling the assignments. As you get really fast, you might just go directly to the assignments. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to read? And you'll be toggling back and forth between the resource page links and the actual assignment. Okay, I hope that sheds some light on it. Any questions, if you want to contact me, there's a couple ways you can do that. I'm not in the Canvas view right now, but on the far left of your Canvas menu is a vertical blue menu bar, and the inbox is listed there. You can click on that, type me a message, and that goes directly uh, into my email, and it also identifies which course you're in, which is helpful for me. I have multiple sections. And then you can always text me, and I have students already doing that. I know some of you are like, what? I can text the instructor directly? That sounds a little informal. It's summer. I want to be available to you guys. Feel free to text me. Just know that it's usually my hours are after 9 and by 6 p.m. So you can text me between then. Say I have a question. You can just ask the question if it's a short, quick question, and I'll respond back. Or you might say, I want to book some time. I'm totally confused about the week four assignment. Can we look at it in Zoom? No problem. I'll schedule something on Zoom. I'll send you the link and we'll do a laptop session and, and look at the, uh, the course in Canvas directly through Zoom. Okay, so my cell phone number is, please don't abuse it. I am a human being. I do sleep. So after 9 a.m. and by 6 p.m. and I usually respond within 24 hours is what I put in the syllabus. Usually it's much faster than that. My cell phone number is 858 seven seven six seven four nine two eight five eight seven seven six seven four nine two there it is in the chat bar i'll leave it up there for a second and you can reach me that way okay thanks for diving in welcome to the course zoom text emails inbox messages whatever works for you just make sure you don't go, go silent on the course let's stay engaged stay active and it will be done before you know it. All right, thanks for listening.